On January 21st, this upcoming Monday, it will mark the 33rd anniversary of Martin Luther King Day. This day serves as an important reminder of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s commitment to activism and racial justice. And it is an opportunity for all of us to honor his legacy and give back to the, our community. Today, we will give back to the community by sharing a prayer spoken by the King himself. In the name, In the name of, the of the Father, and the Son, and the, and the Holy Spirit, Spirit. Amen. amen. Help us to realize that humanity was created to shine like the stars and live on through all eternity. Keep us, we pray, in perfect peace. Help us to walk together, pray together, sing together, and live together until the day when all God's children will rejoice in one common band of humanity and the reign of the Lord our God, we pray, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. And now for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Are you ready for the best Thursday ever, Bishop Gorman? Because BGTV is coming at you in five, four, three, two, one. Good morning, Bishop, Bishop Gorman. Gorman. I'm Mia Nakamura. And I'm Crystal Effia. And, and this, this is BGTV. BGTV. Today is January 16th, 2019, and not only is it National Nothing Day, but it's the first show of 2019. In 2019, juniors will attend their first prom, seniors will graduate, and the new freshmen will enter high school. Every new year comes with New Year's resolutions. Although many of us end up giving up in the first week of January, some students still have a dream. Mary McCollum and Nick Fonte asked Gorman students what they hope to accomplish this year. Good morning, Bishop Gorman. It's me, Nick Fonte. And for my New Year's resolution, I need to find a New Year's resolution because I, I don't, I, I suck at it. I'm not very good and I need to figure it out. So instead we're gonna go around and figure out other people's New Year's resolutions so I can pick out my own for my New Year's resolution. New Year's resolution, all right, let's go. So what's your New Year's resolution? I'm trying to get a haircut. You need one. I've decided to stop eating healthy, so I have this delicious grilled cheese and very oil-based soup so that I can continue to gain weight. Very nice. Uh, what's your New Year's resolution? Uh, to get this bread. Um, just to stop chewing gum because I love Dean Rivera. <laughs> to get better friends. Savage. I, uh, I want to get straight A's this semester. Uh, it's very important. How's it going? I'm trying my best. My New Year's resolution is to graduate Gorman, and so far it's going pretty good. It's awesome. So hey, Ryan, what's your uh, what's your uh, new re New Year's resolution? Stop interrupting our packages, man. That, that's my New Year's resolution. Here we go. <sighs> well, uh, well, uh, I guess uh, for my for my uh, New Year's resolution, I'll just I'll just get a haircut too. I'm Nick Fonte. Reporting for PGTV. So, so do you have a New Year's resolution? Get away from me. Oh, okay. Some common New Year's resolutions are go to the gym more, be more positive, or just eat healthier. For Ashley Cuckler, it's to become a famous YouTuber. Payne Cromer did a special interview with Ashley. Let's go take a look. How did you feel when David and Liza broke up? Oh my gosh, I literally cried. I watched the video and I bawled. Hey guys, Peyton Cromer here. Today we are having a mukbang interview with the Ashley Cuckler. Hey guys. Mukbang, a live online audiovisual broadcast in which a host eats large amounts of food while interacting with their audience, usually done through an internet webcast. Today we are having a Sodexo burrito bowl. For those of you who have had the burrito bowls, 
that line. Anyway, forks or chopsticks? Forks. <laughs> All right, we're doing forks. <laughs> chopsticks are a little sh whack. All right, so before you take that first bite, what made you want to become a YouTuber? Um, a lot of people told me that I should start a YouTube channel, and I feel like I just do it to make people laugh, and that it's it's a good time, it's fun, it's not super difficult. What YouTuber inspired you to become a YouTuber? Um, I'd say Emma Chamberlain, because I feel like, you know, she doesn't put, I mean, she does put a lot of effort into her videos, but her humor is really basic in that, you know, if she can do it, why can't I? Have you seen that photo of Balloony from Phineas and Ferb? And <laughs> <laughs> I saw that, oh my gosh, I saw that on Twitter this morning, I was just dying. <laughs> Who is one YouTuber you would just love to collab with? Oh my gosh, I love Cody Ko. Honestly, he's so funny. I honestly, I'd love to collab with Cody Ko. <laughs> he's literally my favorite. We could do a That's Cringe. That's Cringe? What would you do a That's Cringe of? My YouTube videos. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to tune in to next Gigi TV's Every Girl Has a Story. Thanks for shouting me out. Oh, shout out Peyton Cromer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye guys. Should I bottle flip? <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you know what rhymes with mukbang? Track gang. The track team let me and Nakamura, Peyton Cromer, and me hang out with them so we could get a little inside scoop of what's happening. Let's see what they're up to. You know, we're not just about building uh, track and field athletes here. We're, we're about building I'm Jake Nino. My name is Antonio Sanchez. Joe McPherson Kellogg. I run the 300 meter hurdles and pole vault. 400 and 200 and then a couple relays like the 4x4 and the 4x2. I throw shot put and discus. On the girls side, um, last year's team, best team in school history. It's I'm ranked number one in the state right now, so going into it. So this season is really exciting. But I've been doing track for about eight years now. She doesn't take days off. and. Uh, I have huge expectations for her, and I think the sky's the limit. I think we could really have a successful team. Your biggest competitor is yourself. Obviously, you're running against the guys next to you, but at the end of the day, you get to see your times, and if your times went down, it's pretty nice to see that you improved. Antonio is one of the hardest workers I've ever been around in, in my 20-plus years of coaching. Competitive running is, is probably one of the most enjoyable things I've ever done. It's hard in track because you need to con continually make how you run it different, because if you run it the same way over and over and over again, you're not going to get better. Jake is... Uh, is our one of our hurdlers. I ran for the Junior Olympics this summer. Running is a hobby that's definitely one of my favorites and if you love to compete and go out there and see yourself improve every day then it's one of the greatest sports. I think we extend a very good shot at winning state this year again. You know they have a lot of hard work ahead of them. I'm really excited for the year. Tryouts are February 23rd. If you want to commit to us and show up every single day and grind in the off season, you have a place in my heart and you have a place on this team. Everybody else will see you at tryouts. Track is one of the many sports Gorman has to offer. It is not too late to try out for the other spring sports, including swimming, lacrosse, and softball. Now, let's pass the ball over to Andrew Schmidt for sports. Andrew? Thanks, guys. A lot has happened in the sports week last week, so let's get started. The men's basketball team won 78-39 against Spring Valley. Make sure to check out their next game on Saturday versus Finley Prep. Keep up the wor good work, guys. Another Gorman team that played against Spring Valley was our bowling team. This past Tuesday, Kennedy Enos scored 195 for the girls' team, and Josh Harris scored 235 for the men's team. The bowling's last game before regional takes place on Friday at 3 at the South Point. Go and show your support. Wrestling also has a big week coming up with the senior duel that takes place on Tuesday at 6. Jane Romero has a scoop. I think it's the best way to w actually watch a wrestling match. On Tuesday, Gorman held his first of two wrestling duels. A wrestling duel is when you, it's one school versus another. We lost to Silverado 42 to 28, but if you've never been to a wrestling match, the next one is against Spring Valley on Tuesday. It's probably the best way to watch wrestling. This Tuesday, uh, it's our senior night, and I'm sure it's gonna be great. This will take about an hour, maybe, maybe less. Knowing our team, we like to pin and get in and out quick. I'm Jaden Romero, reporting for BG TV. Go Gales. That's all I have for you today, BG. Back to you guys. It was a sophomore day of reflection, and Monday is Martin Luther King Day, so there's no school. That's all we have for today's show. I'm Crystal Effio. And I'm Mia Nakamura. And, and this is your BGTV.